One of the most impactful things we see from Cyclone Idai was the landslides that occurred in Chimanimani and Chipinge districts. So UNESCO, as part of the Zimbabwe Idai Recovery Project, uh, funded by um, the World Bank as well as UNOPS, is working with communities to identify potential solutions. So that's why we bring in also a set of experts from the University of Zimbabwe, from the Catholic University of Leuven in Belgium, as well as a set of students also to look into the drivers of these landslides and to identify potential pathways for making sure that the communities are better protected against these uh, extreme events. The project is trying to do a multi-focus approach to this issue of disasters and it tries to look at several elements. So this element is looking at landslides, we're trying to understand the reasons why they are happening. But we're also looking at floods and to see if we can also identify pathways to reduce the risk of floods, uh, as well as climate change and seeing how climate change might make things even worse. So trying also to bring all that knowledge together and make a puzzle of all the issues that need to be solved. together. In total we mapped more than 19,000 landslides and around two-thirds of those were probably linked to the Idai event. And by pinpointing these landslides we can then basically do statistical analysis to try to see what explains their exact position. With that we built basically a first model that indicates which parts of the region are prone to landsliding. But this doesn't tell everything because you cannot detect everything from a satellite image. So that's why we also decided to go in the field and have a closer look to many of these landslides, mainly to try to see exactly what triggered them. Some might be due to EDI, some might be older. And uh, figuring that out is very important because it helps us understand why or what amount of rainfall you need to have such kind of dramatic events. A heavy sound knocked behind the, 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 the house and it fell open, it cracked open. Then a lot of mud with water and debris pushed into the house and I was pushed against the, the wall. Then the mud was almost at neck level. I almost suffocated. When I woke up, I just saw water inside the, inside the house and some mud. And when I opened the window, the window was covered by mud. I couldn't see outside. So one of the outcomes of this project will also be that we're able to identify potential moments when these landslides can occur. So we're trying to look for forecasting, for early warning, to make sure that the communities can be warned up front if these kind of conditions occur uh, in the future. Okay, we're trying to look at how we can build a framework that can be a longer lasting, where we try to build a bias reserve for this area in which, of course, uh, disaster risk reduction is a key element. So this is why we build bridges with all these entities, so they can bring in their expertise and trying to build a society which is more robust and more resilient against uh, current and future climate shocks.